Okay, so we're making uh, another video here. We're going to try putting the Warren winch on the yaw racing bumper. More of the sounds in the background. Girlfriend's watching the TV. Alright, so I've already pulled the body pins. Got to disconnect the lights here. Body out of the way so we can get to the bumper a little easier. Get my knife out. So, I've watched a couple videos on this. But of course, everybody knows you know, you watch videos, it makes you a pro at it, right? <laughs> yeah, right. In case you're wondering, should have a part number on it? Comes with some worn stickers. You know, one of those will end up going on here. A silica packet and screws hit the floor. Yeah. Do not eat. Sad to have to put that on there. Here's your hardware. And of course, they staple it in. And here is the Warren Winch. There's been a bunch of videos on these already. I haven't put out a video in a minute, so I thought I'd uh, see see what I could do with this. And try my hand at it. It's a cool little tag on there. I'm gonna flip that over probably just because you know I'm obsessed with compulsive like that. Here's your power plug. Looks like it's the same plug that the uh, 124s use. Okay. We've also got the uh, Winch control unit. Here's your part number for that. Here's your code you can scan. And of course they've got this thing stapled also. It does say water resistant on this. Not waterproof. Uh, use a BEC in conjunction with 3-cell lipo. So you can go all the way up to a 3-cell lipo on this it looks like. What is this? Hey, more stickers! Yay! All right, nothing on the inside there. Over here we've got the Woe Boob, the notorious Woe Boob. One's for winch, one's for battery, and you've got your cables. All right. Since I have unplugged my dig in this, I've this has got the, uh, the Firma 40 unit in it, and I've unplugged the dig because I did not want to crash this one like the other one did. And excuse the dirt on this, I haven't cleaned it up since Axial Fest. Um, I'm just going to plug into, if I can read it here. Yeah, there is an auxiliary channel on here that I'll be plugging into. Man, I can't even read it. My eyesight is so bad. Hmm. Not sure which one I'm supposed to plug into here. There's like five plugs here I could go to. Oh, there it is, auxiliary one. Alright, so it looks like I'll be going into auxiliary one on this. Alright, this has nothing to connect it inside here. So I will be figuring out where do I want to plug this in at, or where I want to mount this at. 
Could mount it up here on the inner fender. We'll just have to see how long the cables are, I guess. All right, first and foremost, let's get this winch mounted up. I did move this uh, bumper out a little bit. I had it pushed all the way back, but I realized that with the way the body sits on here, uh, in order to make this fit, I'm probably going to have to move it forward, so that's what I've already done. Hmm. Ooh, am I going to have to take the sting off of this? I hope not. I don't want to take the stinger off. It looks like I may have to take the stinger off of this in order to get this to fit on this side. Hear that or push it back a little more. Wow. So yeah, like I said, I don't edit my videos or anything. You guys gotta see what I go through in real time. Alright. Well, let's see what size these are. This is that Duratrax uh, stand. I love this thing. Um, I used to laugh a little bit first when I saw them. I was like, you know, what do you really need these things for? But then once I uh, I was working on my truck one day when I was building the 10 2, and I realized that I needed something like this. So this is a. Yep, they're typical 2.0. Alright, so we'll just it there. And it does not line up. Yay! That's great. I love it when things don't work. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? Let me use the one one here too. I'm not locked tight these in yet because I want to see what works and what doesn't first. And I just knocked the electronics on the floor because that is awesome. Wow, that's not going to work at all. What started off as a privately Hmm. All right. So we're gonna take the bumper completely off to see what we do here. I don't even know if this thing's in focus for you guys. All right. So, alright, where's that box go? There it is. I'm knocking everything on the floor today, apparently. This little stubby, stubby multi, it's, uh, it's been a lifesaver. I got it for like eight bucks at Harbor Freight. Otherwise, I'd be using like a full size, and those things, those are just too big. Alrighty. Just pull the bumper off, put the truck to the side for now. We'll come back to it in a minute. And now we got to figure out how we're going to mount this thing on here. And then we'll worry about getting it on the truck. Alright, well, what size are these? Yep, they're the same size. You don't take these mounts out. Why oh, throw everything on the floor? Yeah, 
getting to see the back of my head a lot, it looks like. Had I put it in there, Sadie? All right, got that out of the way. Check this again. Well, I can I can line it up on two holes. Then the other two does not line up. And they're not even lining up all the way. I might not be able to put this thing in yet. But I don't have my drill bits with me. Get one of these screws in, guys. That is not going to be good enough, and it's not even back all the way. If you could see that, that's the only one I can get in. This one is not lined up all the way, and those are not lined up at all. So we've only got one in there. Well, let me take this one out and try something else. Because one's not going to be in there. not gonna work. Let's see if I can take this thing off. Right, so we're going inside the hole there on the yard racing. I'm going to try taking the stinger off and see if that makes any difference at all. things I like about that bumper is that it's got the stinger on it, but I may have to go without the stinger in order to get this falling up. Got two screw holes to line up now. But the screws don't go through. <laughs> Guys, I'm running into every problem you can think of on this. Huh. 
Well, looks like until I can get a hold of my drill bits, I'll be doing without putting this on here. It's the holes for the RC four-wheel drive winch do not line up with the Yaw Racing uh, bumper. They, you will need to modify your bumper and put some uh, additional holes in there to get them to work. Uh, I'll go uh, play around with this for a bit and see about making another video for you guys. Thanks for watching.